Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. Co-creating at its best, really. You're knowing what you are wanting? Hmm. <laughs> You're enjoying the expansion of your desire? Yes. Especially those things that you want that have not manifested yet. Those are your favorites, yes? <laughs> Well, we always poke and prod a bit about that because we know how wonderful it is to want something and to know that you can have it. That's how you felt when you first got here, that eager anticipation about life. But some of you want, life helps you to do that, but you don't know how it's going to happen or when. Sometimes you seem to not know if it will happen. And in that feeling of doubt, that desire does not feel so fresh, does it? When you want something and you know that it will eventually be, you, pre you feel pretty hopeful. When you want something and there is no question in your mind that it will be, you are full of desire and belief. Oh, what a nice feeling that is. But to want something, and have no idea how it's going to come, when it's going to come, who's going to be with it, who's going to bring it, where it's going to come from, how it's going to come about, then we see many of you not as frisky as we would like you to be <laughs> in this expanding experience. And we want you to understand, and of course, words don't teach, odd that we offer so many. <laughs> We want you to remember that you are an extension of source energy and that you deliberately express yourself here as an extension of source energy in this physical body, knowing that the variety that surrounds you here in this leading edge time space reality will inspire you to your specific personal preferences. And when you made the decision to come forth, you knew that every one of those desires that was inspired within you, every subtle little preference, every simple nuance of your experience, every time you know what you don't want, you know more clearly what you do want. You knew before you came forth into this body that with each of those new ideas about what would make life feel better to you, you knew that source would ride that rocket and that vibrationally that experience would be prepared for you, prepaved for you. We think the thing that trips more of our physical friends up than all other things put together is that you have forgotten that you are eternal beings. You have forgotten that you are source energy beings. You have forgotten that that broader part of you exists eternally. And so we want to remind you that by telling you this very simple story of how it is that you came about. We want you to know that you are source energy primarily, eternally, that this dominant part of you, this eternal God force source part of you will always be. And that part of you is a powerful, powerful, powerful part of who you are. The most important part of who you are in terms of longevity and eternalness. So this non-physical part of you decided to express a part of its consciousness into this body in the same way that this physical part of you might decide to come to a seminar like this. So this non-physical you projected a part of your consciousness into this physical body and here you are. Now, as you're here in this physical body, you are surrounded by variety, by contrast. And as you experience that contrast, you, brilliant, genius, creative, source energy you, are inspired to a constant plethora of new ideas about what would make life better for you. And as those ideas exude from you, they shoot out of you like rockets of desire. As they shoot out of you, the source energy part of you never takes its attention from the new expanded version. In other words, think about this source energy expressing through you and now expressing further in the form of this new idea or new preference. 
And when you think about it, no one in all of the universe would know more clearly than you do when you know what you don't want, what you do want. In other words, source is so sure that not only do you know, but and do you have the right to know, but that you are the only one who can make those decisions because you are the only one who is synthesizing your life experience. So the you that is really you, part of it comes into this body and in this body, you continue to expand. And here's the part we really want you to remember. When a desire is born within you, the non-physical part of you follows that desire and literally becomes the vibrational, non-physical, non-embodiment of it. In other words, this is such an important thing for you to remember. We've written a book and given it the best title ever, Ask and It Is Given. And that's what that title is talking about. That title says that when your life in this physical body inspires you to an improved, expanded idea of what you are wanting, that the source energy part of you immediately becomes it. The question is, here you are over here. You don't have enough money, so you want more money. Source goes to that more money. You're sick, so you want to be well. Source goes to that expanded version of wellness. You're confused, so you want more clarity. Source goes to that expanded version of clarity. In fact, it is accurate to say that the sicker you are in your physical body, the weller the non-physical part of you is. The more money that you don't have in your physical form, which causes you to want more money, the more prosperous the vibrational aspect of you becomes. Now, this may not seem significant to those of you who have forgotten that everything that is manifested is preceded by vibrational thought. But when you remember that everything that is manifested is preceded by vibrational thought, then it is heartening for you to remember that everything that life has caused you to desire is now that vibrational thought. In other words, the source energy part of you is that new expanded version of you. When you're rude to someone, you want to be nicer and the source energy part of you holds that clarity. When you don't have enough of something you want, the expanded version of you has that. In other words, we want so for you to understand that this is what causes the evolution of all species. This is not some frivolous thing. This is the basis of the universe that most of you have forgotten. And we think the reason that you have forgotten it is because as you're banging around here in the contrast, just like you knew you would, and you're giving birth to these rockets of desires, even though the larger part of you is riding the rocket of desire, giving it its undivided attention, you, in your justifiable demeanor, keep beating the drum of what went wrong in order, it seems, to sort of justify why you are worthy of this improvement that you are seeking. But the problem with that is when you're beating the drum of I don't have enough money, 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 I've never had enough money, I've never had enough money. I don't know anyone who's had enough money, I don't know anyone who's had enough money, hardly anybody has enough money. That guy over there's got more than he needs. Rotten, rotten person. When you beat the drum of not enough money, even though your life has caused you to put a veritable fortune in your vibrational escrow, they're like, you can't get it as long as you're beating the drum of not enough money, not enough money. In other words, you've got to become a vibrational match to the expanded version of you. Here's the way we want you to remember it. You must find a way to keep up with you. Life is causing you to expand. That's why you came forth into this environment. You love the idea of variety causing you to expand still further. And you know in an eternal universe that expansion is not necessary, but inevitable. So what we're saying to you is your life experience is causing you to constantly become more. And what this workshop wants to talk about is what are you doing in relationship to this expanded version of you that is in the process of constant becoming? Are you keeping up with you? And here's the answer. If you feel great, yes, you are. If you feel less than great, not so much. In other words, when you feel wonderful, that means that you've activated within yourself by virtue of something that you're giving your attention to a vibration that matches this expanded version of you. And when you do that, you feel wonderful. But when your life has caused you to become more and that larger part of you is being that more and you're focused on something that's not letting you be that more, you don't feel good. 
You've got to keep up to speed with you. You're sort of like a two headed monster and we just want to get both heads going in the same direction. So everything that we ever talk about is about helping you to realize that you are always the new expanded version. And when you are moving in the direction of that new and expanded version, you feel good. And when you're not, you don't feel good. In other words, allowing who you are to be or resisting who you are to be, letting yourself be the expanded version of you or holding back from it in some way. And you know, every emotion you feel, Every single one, whether you call it joy, whether you call it despair, whether you call it hope, whether you call it doubt, whether you call it love, whether you call it hate, every emotion that you or anybody else feels is about your closing the gap between who you are or your widening the gap between who you are. Every emotion is about that. What a wonderful guidance system you were born with because your guidance is letting you know in every moment whether you're keeping up with you. Nowadays, most of you have navigational systems in your vehicles. Jerry and Esther have four different kinds now. And all of them operate on the same premise where the system knows where they are and they program their desired destination in. And then the system gives them a visual and verbal description of how to get from where they are to where they desire to be. The system never says to them, where have you been? <laughs> what took you so long? Why are you there? <laughs> Never once have any of them said to Jerry and Esther, you asked yesterday and you didn't follow our advice. <laughs> so we're not giving you any more. <laughs> it's just a straightforward system based upon two relationships. Where are you in relationship with where you want to be? And we want you to understand that your guidance system is so much the same in that it has two vibrational relationships. Where am I right now? By virtue of what I'm giving my attention to and by what drum I'm beating, where am I in relationship to who I have become? And we want you to remember that the way you feel and all of your enlightenment, expansion, joyous beingness is not based upon what anybody else is doing. It's all about what you're doing in relationship with what your life has caused you to become. Sometimes you will hold someone as your object of attention and you will say, you have betrayed me. You have done wrong. And because you have betrayed me, you are causing me to feel this bad way that I feel. But we want you to understand that nothing that anyone else does around you has the effect on your emotions that you've been giving them credit for. In fact, what is happening when you find someone to hate or when you find someone to blame, whether it's you yourself, you're blaming, guilting, or someone else, in every case, the reason that it feels so bad is not because they have betrayed you, but because you are in the process of betraying yourself. And by that we mean the source energy within you, who you really are, is a lover. And when you hold someone as your object of attention and you justifiably point out their wrongdoing and you feel hate rather than love, you are using them and that aspect of them as your excuse to widen your gap rather than close your gap. And so what we want you to come to realize is that you have the power to come into alignment with who you are, no matter what, unconditionally. And when you learn to focus in ways that allows you that alignment, you'll feel the true power of who you are. One who's connected to the source within is more powerful than millions who are not. <laughs>